Archbishop of Colombo, His Eminence Malcolm Cardinal Ranjit, has called for a proper investigation to be carried out based on the facts revealed by the Channel 4 program on the Easter Sunday attacks. Speaking to reporters, he said that an unbiased and honest investigation cannot be expected from a parliamentary select committee, as announced by Minister Manushan Anakara. Appointing such a select committee will only lead to a waste of public funds and time and be an exercise of simply misleading the public. For this reason, we do not endorse such a strategy and reject that plan outright. What according to us needs to happen urgently is, number one, the holding of a free, impartial, just, transparent and broad-based investigation into what the Channel 4 television network revealed in its program, the alleged plot behind that tragedy, and all facts and a study of the persons mentioned in that program, especially with regard to their role in this mass murder. And also investigations should be carried out on the findings outlined in the various commission reports already presented and recommendations stated they are need to be implemented fully. Number two, this investigation should take place through an independent international investigation team. Number three, that international team should be assisted by all those Sri Lankan officials of the CID whose services were originally sought by the government and who were transferred away from the investigations to other areas and posts by biased political authority. Number four, since these fresh investigations need to be independent, all those officials who in the police and the intelligence services coming under investigation on this matter and who hold high positions presently should be suspended forthwith. We wish to urge all former and present-day officials of the, in the police and intelligence as well as security services who are aware of other facts that may be relevant to the case to come out courageously in order to give witness to facts known to them relevant to the case. Speaking to reporters, the Archbishop of Colombo also noted that he had never endorsed a politician. The leader of the opposition told the parliament yesterday that I called to vote against him. I have never made such a claim. I challenge him to prove that. After nominations were handed over for the election, none of them were allowed to enter this house. I never told to vote for Gotabia, Sajid Premadasa or Anura Kumara Disanayaka. It was a minister who spread a statement claiming that I worked for that party and Gotabia and he was a powerful Catholic minister. He is the one who started this rumour. Another person joined him to claim that I was rooting for Gotabia. But who are those two rooting for now? Whose ministers are they now? These two people came for a discussion with me. They do not speak of that. I am disgusted with these political leaders.